In the last episode, we built this filter navigation for our projects. And we can now filter our projects by category and also show all projects if we don't want to filter them. And we implemented this right in our template file for the projects. So we created this PHP block here and within there we created the logic for the filter. So we got the filter from the URL, we got all the projects and then filtered them whenever there is a filter available. We paginated them and then also created that pagination object here and a list of all the filters that are available. And such PHP blocks in your templates are totally fine as long as you feel good about them. So as long as they are readable to you and you don't feel like interrupted writing your HTML by them. But in general, you should avoid introducing too many of those or let them get too long. Templates should be mainly for your HTML and the PHP parts, the little snippets of PHP in here, they are really they should be, be tiny and just replace like titles and other dynamic stuff. Um, so in this video, I want to show you how to get rid of this PHP block and move it into its own file. And we call those own files controllers. Controllers live inside and then in a subfolder called controllers. Um, if your controllers folder is not there yet and in your installation, for example, when you start with the plane kit, just go ahead and create that folder. And then in that folder, you would call, um, you, cre you create a new file called the same way as your template. So when your template is called projects.php, your controller would also be called projects.php. So every template has one controller. Um, there are no multiple controllers per template or um, a controller that can control multiple templates. It's always that one-to-one -one connection. And controllers are plain PHP files and they return a function. So Kirby calls that function before the template is being rendered. And whatever comes out of that function in the form of an array will then be introduced as variables. So for example, if we wanted to introduce a new variable called message for our template, we could do it like this. So by returning that message here in our array and giving it a string in this case, we can create this new variable that will now be available in our template. And now we could do um, replace the title by it, for example. So let's see if this works. Hello world. Okay, so we passed this to our template. And this is important because otherwise, if we wouldn't do this, and if we don't define the message variable up here somewhere, um, this would throw an error because the message variable is undefined and it's not working. So this is the most simple example. And if you really just need to introduce a new variable, you probably won't end up with a controller. That would be a bit much for such, such a simple use case. But what I want to show you is how we can move all of this into our controller and then yeah, just get rid of this, clean this up. And we are going to do this line by line, just to make it a bit easier. So let's start with this first line with the filter by variable. This is using the get helper to get the filter parameter from the URL. And all we have to do is cut it out from our template, paste it here, and then we can pass it further down into our template. And this is important. You have to define it again here in the array. Um, you have to put that name here. Um, otherwise, just defining it in the controller wouldn't work. It's not available then in the template. You have to pass it down. But once we've, we did it like this, the template should still be working when we remove this first line. The filter by variable should still be defined. And let's just check out if this still works. So yeah, our filters still work. Everything still seems to be OK. Um, we still get the filter parameter from our URL. And everything's cool. So let's move on to the next line. We cut this out, move it in here again. And we introduce our unfiltered 
variable to our template. When I reload the page now, we will automatically run into an error. And we will run into an undefined variable page error in our controller. And if you look at this, it kind of makes sense because this page variable is not here yet. In our templates, page and side and Kirby and other objects are automatically available. But in our controllers, we have to tell the controller function which kind of global variables we need. So we need to say, OK, give me the page here. And we can do this as an argument of the function. And we basically tell with those arguments what kind of stuff we need to work with. If we also need to work with the site, we would define it like this. We could also work with the global Kirby instance. Um, but we have to tell the controller what we need in here. We only need the page, so we can leave it like this. And by the way, you just define those uh, variables that you need, those globals that you need. Um, and then Kirby will pass them down for you. The order doesn't matter. Kirby will automatically figure it out for you. Once you did that, um, everything's fine again. Our example should work. And still, even though we remove this line, our example should still be working. Everything's fine. Everything's working great. So the rest is a lot easier now because everything's already defined. And we can just cut the rest of this block and paste it in here. And we don't have any other um, global variables that we need to pass to the controller. Everything's, everything seems to be awesome. But of course, we need to pass our stuff further down that we introduced here. So we have the projects, we have pagination, and we also have the list of filters. So we end up with a nice list of new variables that are now available in our template. And the more of um, the more such stuff happens in here, the more logic you introduce, the more sorting, filtering, combining of pages um, you do, the more such controllers really pay off. And um, you, are, you have an easier time here to write your PHP, um, to introduce code comments, to work with all kinds of um, switches and if clauses, and maybe uh, initialize some classes or whatever you want to do. Um, they really have a better place here in your controllers. And your template as well looks a lot cleaner. So you have pure, um, almost pure, PHP in here. You have some new variables that you can work with. They are easy readable. That's another big plus. So you can make your lists nice and clean and get readable um, variable names here for your template. One other thing I want to show you as a last benefit of using such controllers um, is working with snippets. So let's say this is the pagination block here where we created our pagination navigation. So the arrow links down here, if we have a look at this. So this is the pagination block down here. And let's just say we want to move this to its own snippet. We cut this entire block, we create a new snippet called pagination, we paste the stuff in here. And now normally the pagination object up here, the pagination variable wouldn't be available in our snippet. But since we have our controller ready, our, and our controller already defined this, this new variable pagination is now available everywhere. So we don't have to reintroduce it to snippets. It's automatically be, been passed to all snippets within this template, only within the projects template, not in other templates, only in the projects template. But now snippet the pagination snippet automatically knows about this pagination variable. And that's quite handy because now we don't have to define it multiple times in multiple places. It's just there for all the snippets that we are using. Of course, when you want to use the same snippet in a different location and you don't have such a controller, this is really no problem because you can still pass it manually. So you could still write it like this and then pass your own pagination object to the snippet. And that would 
still work and it would override the one coming from the controller. So you're still in control whatever is being passed to that snippet. But um, yeah, it's just a very convenient way of working with such variables. That's my introduction for controllers. They are super useful. Um, use them whenever they make sense to you, whenever you feel like your code is getting too complicated, um, not clean enough anymore. It's also a great idea to do this in the end. So if you feel like, okay, a template is almost done, but you want to put the finishing touches on, on them, then just go through the logic there, remove it, put it into a controller, and that's it. You end up with really nice, clean templates. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.